the fact that I didn't respect art that much was always something I could be very ashamed of. And at a certain point, I realized it might be a, a, a benefit because people have such big, like I love the title of, I, I didn't really explore it much, but I did look at your link. And I guess you wrote a book called Just Play. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a great title. And that's a great sentiment. Sometimes you can't just play because there's too many ghosts sitting on the piano bench with you. <laughs> like that, like you know? the ego. <laughs> like well, the, ego <laughs> the ego is what keeps me on the couch. <laughs> but then if I get on the piano bench, who's sitting there? You know, Keith Jarrett or Herbie Hancock? You know, you know too much respect gets in the way. And I yeah. see that doing so and over again. So all the mistakes I made were part and, part and parcel of the things I found to correct things. And then there was a spiritual component that I'd always had, but I didn't know it was a real thing. So for example, as soon as I started playing when I was a kid, I knew it didn't really matter. It was just music. And that, you don't say that in music in college. You can't oh, say that. Very, <laughs> it's only music, it's nothing important. But then I started to realize that all my best stuff come out when I realized it was only music, you know? And then I put it to the test. In the book, I have the, uh, Plastic bag test. You know, I say, okay, how important is music? All right, go into the kitchen. Thank God no one's ever done it. And please, the disclaimer, do not do this. It's a joke. Go into the kitchen and grab one of those baggies. I think back then you just had, I don't know what they had technologically. You pull over your head. Now you may still be able to breathe. So you should get that electrical tape and do this, right? Now, now look at your watch. Okay, 10 seconds, 15, how important is music? Yeah. Okay. At 30 seconds, uh, is bebop the real jazz? <laughs> 45 seconds, is Cecil Taylor for real? You know, I mean, you know, what are you thinking? You know, what's really important? Now, nobody needs to denigrate jazz or classical music. There's enough wor natural world denigration, except the musician himself notices that when he's not aware of all these respects, he or she or they play better. So it turned into this way of embracing a, an objectivity that allowed you to practice mm -hmm. and allowed you to play. I always say practice with focus because you're not overwhelmed with the things you have to work on. That's what I learned from the first stuff I said. And play with freedom because it really doesn't matter that much. Mm -hmm. And you play better when you know it. You ask anybody, how did you play when you thought this was an extremely important moment meaningful in your life and everybody's watching now jacob collier probably said great there's a few people that respond to that actually i'm one of them but most people will say that's when they have trouble playing and they say now think about when it didn't really matter or you're playing with friends that you trusted or you had a beer or you were in a practice room by yourself how do you play everybody says better so then i'll say to them okay now that you know that caring more played you made you play worse you're never going to care again right and then they laugh and that's where the process it develops with the four steps of effortless mastery mm -hmm. a deep programming and a reprogramming so that when you touch the instrument there aren't thoughts between you and the instrument it's just one instrument playing another instrument which then opens up the whole world of spirit because if i'm an instrument playing the instrument who's playing and then you can spend the rest of your life answering that question for yourself. 